It's time for To Your Health. Joining me today is Dr. Lorraine Maida, a functional and integrative medicine physician who practices anti-aging medicine, executive health, hormone replacement therapy, and weight management. She is the author of Vibrance for Life, How to Live Younger and Healthier. Dr. Maida is here today to discuss how we can minimize memory loss. Welcome, Dr. Maida. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having me on your show, Joan. Well, doctor, this is an important topic because I know myself in my own life, this is something that I worry about as I'm getting older. So many people are worried about losing their memory. Is it inevitable that memory will fail? Oh, I want to reassure you, Joan. No, it is not inevitable that your memory is going to fail. There's a lot that you can do to preserve memory. I have so many patients that come in to me. They say their parents have Alzheimer's or have memory loss, and they're so scared. So they asked me to do this test for the memory gene called APOE. And I have to say, most of the people test negative. And what that means, Joan, is that there are some environmental or lifestyle factors that contributed to the memory loss. It's not necessarily Alzheimer's. It's how you take care of your brain. So, Doctor, what are some of these factors? Because I noticed lately I have a really hard time recalling names or things of that specific nature. So what are some of the things that we're doing? Is it just overload? Oftentimes it is. When you have high levels of stress, cortisol prevents the memory cells in your brain from regenerating. So stress is a big factor. Poor nutrition. You've got to feed your brain. Poor circulation. You can't get, even if you were eating properly, you can't get the right nutrients into your into your brain. Sugar is very toxic to the brain. It causes oxidation and inflammation and all of that is like a smoke screen. You can't think through it. But there's also, many toxic exposures in our food and our water and our fish, uh, lead and mercury are big producers of uh, memory loss, uh, infections, stroke, trauma, medications, overuse of drugs and alcohol, lack of sleep, smoking, depression, all of these things can lead to memory loss. But, but as you can tell, many of these are preventable and they're related to lifestyle, to fitness, to diet, to toxic exposures that can be avoided. So there's so much that you can do to prevent memory loss. And in women also, hormones play a role. So when estrogen gets lower, so does a memory. So then specifically, what are some of the things that we can do to preserve our memory? Well, you gotta use it or lose it and care for your brain and your memory as if it were a rare and priceless commodity. We're so careless about what we put into our mouths and the thoughts that we think. So first thing is to eat a very highly nutritious diet, plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables because these are antioxidants. Oxidation causes inflammation and inflammation is smoke in your brain where you can't think clearly. So oxidation causes inflammation. We also need an anti-inflammatory diet. That is avoiding fats that are saturated, sugar and grains, uh, and in increasing anti-inflammatory fats. I call them fats that flow, like fish, olives, avocado, nuts, seeds, and any of their oils, and also a low sugar diet, a low glycemic diet. Eliminate those processed foods, the white foods, the sugars, and the starches. That is a very, very healthy diet, and you need to exercise to get those nutrients to the brain. It not only improves your cardiovascular system and keeps the blood vessels in shape, it feeds the brain. What about sleep, doctor? Oh, sleep is really important because you, that's when you regenerate. You regenerate your hormones, you regenerate and repair any cells, and you process your day. So people who are sleep deprived can't think and their hormones are off, they're under stress, and their memory goes. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Listening to you, there are so many things that we can be doing to eliminate the problem, and we do have more power than we realize. So if you would like to learn more about this topic, if you'd like to learn more about Dr. Maida, you can visit her website, howtoliveyounger.com. And as always, to hear more from Dr. Maida, you can visit our website, cyacyl.com backslash Lorraine. We'll be right back.